Too close to the action right now. What are you making? Guavas, this is pretty. Very colourful, very noisy, but that's just the way we like it. Ooh. Where are you from? England. England, oh, yes. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Come and watch Good morning, Assalamu alaikum. Come and watch you guys. We are here in the lively and a kind of busy area of Select. Um, however, it does not compare whatsoever to, to Dhaka and to Old Dhaka because that was next level. But we are super happy to be here. We're going to see you guys what Select has to offer. We've heard great things. Everybody loves Select. It's one of like the biggest recommendations we've had mm -hmm. is make sure you visit Select. So. We are here, we're here in the fourth largest city in Bangladesh, we're excited to explore. We're actually just walking down the road at the minute because we want to take a CNG to our first stop, but we don't think Uber works so great here actually. It does work in Dhaka, but here it doesn't seem to. We haven't been, Oh, now we get one. Hello. I almost didn't even make it in before uh -huh. we started driving again. <laughs> but now we managed to find one. That was actually pretty quick. I thought we were going to be walking a bit further. Hello. 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 Okay, so we came over to Shah Jalal University. Um, again, we have heard that this place is supposed to be really nice, like really beautiful. And there's like these. Um, statues here. I'm not too sure what this is. And then there's like this wall art street art down here. I'm gonna go take a quick look. But it's super cute actually around here. Selling guava. Ah, nice. <laughs> Selling some guava. There's like so many people here, obviously, because it's a university campus. But it's a pretty big site, actually, to be honest. Like, I didn't think it would be this big. But I believe this is the, I think it's one of like the best universities in Select for science and technology. Look at this. This is pretty cool, huh? It's, the buildings are huge. Like these ones don't look like they have people in them, but actually they do because I see some people over here. <laughs> but hey, it's a pretty nice spot actually just to sit and chill, I guess. It's quite shady as well. There's so many trees here, so it's quite a nice spot. Like they're playing some football over here. There's like some people sitting and chilling. Maybe they have tea. Oh. Can, we, can we get one? Yeah. You want guava? Can we get uh, gua guava, right? One? Yes. What are you making? Guava. This is pretty. Looks like a flower. Ooh. We're going to make it a bit Ooh, spicy. Look at that. Thank you. It's a Donovan. guava flower. <laughs> guava <Look>. flower. <laughs> I like that. Good. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, Donovan. <laughs> Okay, so we're just munching on the guava yeah, that we yeah, bought, yeah. like a flower. Yeah, around. We're going this way. We're not too sure. Bit of a communication barrier. But my friend here, very nice, very helpful. He's been very honest and helped us a lot, actually. We got very confused this morning and we didn't know where we were going, what we were doing. But now at least he's been very helpful. So we're heading this way. There's a big football game going on over here. Let, let's get close to them, see what's going on, get closer to the action a little bit. We've got a linesman and everything. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is a proper football match going on down here. Like, you've got proper kits. Oh, what a save. You go, mate. Good job. This one looks more fast paced. Check that out. This keeper's on lock. Who's like, ain't nothing going past me, mate. Oh. Too close to the action right now. Look at that. They will now. Now that then, oh my gosh, this guy is acrobatic. Go on, shoot, 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 shoot. Bro, that was so close. Wow, they play some good football down here. I am impressed. What's your name? Nam. Wahid. Wahid. Our main man, Wahid. He's a good guy. 
He's our driver and our tour guide as well. Thank you, brother. Mine's Good man. <laughs> Good little busy campers down here. Hello. <laughs> auto, auto. auto rickshaw. There's a little uh, canteen cafeteria roadside. Got tea and things. Fancy some tea? Let's do it. So probably we can uh, we can do some tea right now as well. Why not? But yeah, chai piogi. Do you want some tea? Yeah? Come on then. Let's drink some tea then we go to our next stop, yeah? Okay. We have tea first. I'm gonna have a quick little tea stop first and then we crack on to our next stop. So let's see what the tea is like at the roadside cafeteria. It's looking very inviting. Here we go. We've got some bits down here as well. You've got oh you've got popcorn on campus, that's fairly good. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, three teeth, please. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay. Oh, three. Three. Cha, huh? Three. 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 I'm learning. We're learning. Actually, we know our numbers. Our numbers are the only one that we are actually pretty good at. Okay, we're going here. So, this is the tea or this is water? Oh no, it's already made. Okay. No, it's just the water. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is the water, I guess, already. And then maybe we put milk in as well, if they have the milk. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> this is just to wash? Aha, uh -huh, okay. That was just to wash. Oh my gosh. Okay, some sugar's going in. There's some wasps or some flies that are loving the sugar. Ah, okay. This makes more sense. Okay, now we pour the tea and it's gonna be sweet. Maybe some ginger, who knows? Oh, this is like condensed milk. Wow, okay, so we put some condensed milk in there. This is what makes it sweet. I don't know how you say sweet or milky, but milky. Wow, look at that. We're mixing it hard. Amazing, done the bud. Finished. Thank you, done the bud. Thank you so much. Yes. Oh, that's really sweet. It's really sweet. It's really nice. It tastes, it's like, it tastes very milky. I've never had um, tea with condensed milk. At least not knowingly, I've never had tea with condensed milk. It's really nice. <laughs> really good. It's really sweet, actually. You can taste like definitely the sugar. And they, I'm still like working out why there's only half a cup. Maybe because it is So you can top sweet. it up and go for a bit more? I guess, yeah. Mm, yummy. Anyway, we're going to finish up our cup now. And I guess then afterwards we head on to our next stop. So, cheers. Okay, so we're just trying to communicate with our driver as to where we want to go next. We just saw the monument um, for the Bangla language at the university. Um, and we were actually chatting with some of the locals there and they were saying that you can see the border with India if you go a little bit further but I think there was a little security issue um, a few days ago so we were advised to kind of don't go near that area or don't head over there it's maybe not so safe right now but we are going to head back into the city I think we're going to head on to our next stop so we're excited to show you guys this place has been incredible so far it's definitely a way more like a peaceful area I would say like there's so much nature we're excited to take you out over the next few days that we have here in select to see some more but we're heading back down this one kilometer eighty road now which is back to get to the um the main gate so nice it's full of like all the trees you can see it's really nice and shady here actually and there's the oh there's a bike <laughs> there's people selling food people just chilling like on the side of the grass verges it was super sweet but yeah we're gonna head on now to our next stop so back look at my um look at my Orna. it's going everywhere it's such a nice breeze <laughs> so let's go Okay, so you guys have arrived at Keen Bridge. This is one of the like notable landmarks here actually because it's called like, well it's not called, but it's more so the gateway to the select cities, what I think like the locals more so call it. Look at this you guys, this is Keen Bridge. You can see it 
from here we came down to the bottom actually rather than crossing it because obviously you can't see as much if you are to walk across you can i heard it used to be able to drive over it but since there was like some recommendations they turn it into a pedestrian bridge they have so now it's only people can walk over it but actually i see tuk tuk's going yeah, i was gonna say there's so, pictures up there so. i'm not sure how long that lasts it, yeah it's not 100 uh, pedestrianized we wanted to come and see it it's right literally like on the river you can see this one i already forgot the name of it but this is on the river it's quite a big river actually I don't know if any boats go down, but you can see just over the other side, there's some goats down here. Wow. There's, oh yeah, there's people. Oh my goodness, they're jumping off of here. Oh wow. Who needs cannoneering when you can jump off a bridge? Quite a few like street vendors down the side as well. You can come and grab something to eat, but we did eat a huge breakfast. So personally, I'm not hungry. I don't know about you. I'm thinking about going for a pan pudding. Go for it if you want one. See how it's made. Oh, what is that? Potato, aloo. Mortar, mortar, aloo. Mortar, aloo. Chicken. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's how you do it. You mash it all up and everything. Right? Look at that. That's how it's done. So, you get it out this big pot, yeah? And it's got um, aloo and uh, it's got peas and uh, chickpeas, aloo and stuff in it. And then you get some uh, onion and then you cut it all up. Here you go. Got some uh, spices down as well. And uh, get some more spices, why not? And a few more spices going in. So we've got a concoction of like four or five different kinds of spices going in. Mash up the potatoes. And uh, <laughs> you got these bits here. They're going for it. Excited, so looking forward to it. Let's go, street food 101, baby. Just fill it up like that. There we go, these are all filled up. Just one portion, yeah? Do you like this, brother? Good? Good, yeah? Yes. Got a little uh, crowd building up down here. Everyone wants to see how it's done. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six so far. Hello. <laughs> Seven. Eight. We have eight so far and we're still eight going. We've got eight. nine now. Wow. <laughs> Ten it is. Wow. <laughs> then you top it up with all of the onions and everything. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> no, no, no. That's ginger. So we've just grated ginger over it. We've got some onion. That's the chutney. Let's go. Here. Grab a seat, madam. All right, we're gonna have uh, a river view. Perfect, thank you. Thank you, Danabar. Come on then. We're gonna try this goodness, see what it's like. Look at you. Sitting on the side of the road oh, by the river. Oh, that is hot. Wow. <laughs> that is sour. I hope you're hungry because there's a lot right there. <laughs> Guys, I do get a little bit nervous actually trying street food because I, yeah, without trying to be rude or anything, obviously hygiene standards are sometimes a little bit of an issue when you travel in places like this. So you definitely have to scout out and make sure that you're confident on where you're trying. And I do not yet have a stomach of steel, whereas this one definitely don't does. Don't jinx it, don't jinx it. He can normally eat anything, whereas mine gets set off. So I'm gonna let you enjoy them. I've down two already, this water. Or this sauce, whatever you want to call it, this is so good. Is it nice? Wow, it's so sour, it's so tangy at the same time. Oh, this is a different one. Different. Oh, wow. You have another one mm. now. I'm interested to see what the difference is, but who knows? So the first one that came out, so sour. Looks like it's got a lot of, Thank got a lot you, of don't tamarind about. to it. And um, I don't know what the second one's like. I think it's got plum in it. Plum? I think so. Yeah? Mmm. This one's sweet. Ah. I like it. Well, we're all finished up actually. And when I say we, I mean you. She didn't even try one. And I braved it and I downed all 10. So far, so good. My stomach hasn't started turning. They were really flavorful, very yummy. I loved it. I think you missed out. Already like the char that we tried when, 
and they were washing the cups with the water and I feel the colour of the water guys I won't lie I did question it a little bit and since then my stomach feels maybe a little it's bit questionable maybe it's psychological I don't know so I did pass on the Pani Peris but I will give them a try I do promise I will try at some um, point guys I'm here for the full experience so like if there's any street food and things obviously I'm going to be a bit sensible where I eat but I'm not just gonna like let each and every place go by without trying something, right? So we're here for the good times, the bad times, shits and all. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're here, we've done it. it exactly, good. mission accomplished, we won. I think it's time to head on to the next spot, right? Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay, so you guys, we literally just drove like 30 seconds to get to the clock tower. It's literally right next to the bridge, just here. So we thought we would come and show you it quickly. This is the oldest clock tower in Bangladesh, I believe, actually. Oh, yeah. okay. I think so. And the bridge is the longest footbridge in Bangladesh, if I'm not wrong. Okay, so we just saw the clock tower. It was actually a super speedy visit because there's not a lot there other than literally the clock tower. So we saw it, ticked it off our bucket list, seen it now in Select. That was one of our things to do. We wanted to go and see the oldest clock tower in Select. Just walking through the busy Jinda Bajar area down here in Silat. This place is rampant. Wow, too many people, people on people down here. And like you would expect from a bazaar, a market, it is busy, it's very colourful. Hello, how's everyone? Good, yeah. Right, just to give you guys an idea, that's the main road. And it's Ramoy on board side. Very colourful, very noisy, but that's just the way we like it. Oh, where are you from? England. England? Oh, yes. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Come and watch What's your name? Taz. My name is Masood. Masood, nice yes. to meet you. Right, we got some subscribers down here. This guy's name is Masood. Yeah. Be like Masood, make sure you guys and hit I, that subscribe. I want to go UK. Oh, he wants to go to the UK. He's doing visa. And I also applied UK. Yeah. And inshallah, I will go. Very nice. Inshallah, brother. Inshallah, inshallah okay. yeah. And my university name is Hartfordshire University. Hard the boys. <laughs> Come and arch him. Good, right? My Bangladesh is good. You like it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Friendly, friendly, local. <laughs> friendly love with this stuff here they're like yeah what's happening how do you like Bangladesh yeah, yeah everybody wants to know how do you like it do you enjoy and yes for sure we do we love we love love, love love but we're headed inside now we've come into like I guess where it's more like a fabric oh, kind of area quite, uh, side of the bazaar yes for sure we decided to duck inside but look there's so many like patterns so many materials Dior look at that some uh some designers happy days but it's so bright, it's so colourful. Hello, hello. <laughs> wow, look at this. Incredible. Well, There's like... You can probably go around. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> it's like when you think you've seen enough colours and patterns, there's more. There's so many fabrics. Look. These are pretty. Hello. Wow, look. Look at this one. This is pretty. Very pretty. So many different patterns. Oh, I like this one. Guys, what do you think? This is cute. I think I uh, I would suit them more here. All the colours under the rainbow. Handbags. Bags, bags, bags. Galore. Paradise. Literally. These are the kind of places I need to keep Libby away from because she's getting <laughs> ideas. Nip. She wants to buy everything. She's looking at handbags. She's looking at more clothes. Especially not when we're at a bazaar. There's so many things to choose from. There's so much to see. Time to head outside back out into the hustle, the bustle. This is a busy place. I think the place is called Jinder Bazaar maybe. I'm not actually too sure, but there's plenty of like restaurants, plenty of shops, plenty of clothes, jewelry, watches, sunglasses, food, you name it. There is like something here. So it's definitely a busy place yeah, for sure. There's hats, joggers, shorts, masks. Wow. There's a lot going on. It's busy, busy, busy. Plenty of people out right now. More t-shirts, more clothes. <laughs> Bangladesh is like to shop, that's for sure. T-shirts, clothes, jeans, hello. <laughs> There's, yeah, look, different shirts. 
These are like more formal. I don't think we need these while we're traveling, do we? No. You got enough clothes. We've got plenty. <laughs> I'm trying to like lose some weight from our back, but I think that's been a long enough day for us already. I'm a bit knackered now and I'm uh, feeling a bit hungry as well. Let's wrap it up. It's been a long one, guys. We have no space left in our bags to do any more shopping. So we are going to finish up here. Our first impressions of Select have been incredible. It's been so much fun. We had a bit of a rocky start this morning, but oh, have we reached the end? Okay, we've reached the end, so we'll walk back. We've seen right. lots around. We've driven around Select so much, actually. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> um, we've driven around loads, we've seen loads, we've been to the bridge, everything. So I think we will finish it up here. We're going to wrap it up here. It's been a long one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, tell all of your friends and your family. If you've liked it, show some love and support people. <laughs> Don't be shy. And we shall see you in the next one. Subscribe.